A good death can be used, ironically, to breathe life back into a TV series, which is probably why EastEnders has to off somebody every other week to keep that shambling corpse chugging on. The death of a beloved hero or even nefarious villain can be a defining point in a series, giving fans something to cheer or lament about for lunch times and pub sessions to come. But the big question is, out of all the shows on our digital waves, which deaths have been the most shocking? Well, luckily I work for a company that does lists, have a script in front of me and a throat only half sore from yelling at somebody on the bus this morning, so let's find out. With this in mind, I'm Jules for WhatCulture.com here with the 10 most shocking TV deaths of 2016. Number 10. Theo Gallivan When Theo Gallivan made his big entrance during the second season of Gotham, fans were shocked by how cunning and powerful he was. Bent on revenge against the Wayne family, he positioned himself to become mayor of Gotham and almost succeeded in killing Bruce Wayne. Following that attempt, he was murdered by James Gordon and the Penguin, and his story was thought to be over. Enter Hugo Strange. With a terrifying lab under Arkham giving rise to several super-powered villains, Strange was able to bring dead criminals back to life, and once it was revealed that Galavan had been resurrected, many fans feared for the safety of Bruce Wayne and James Gordon. Fortunately, Galavan did not remember most of his past life, but taking advantage of his missing memory, Hugo Strange was able to convince him that he was Asriel, a powerful deity in his previous life. During his final attack on Wayne Manor, it looked like Galavan would finally be able to take his revenge. Then, out of nowhere, the Penguin and Butch enter Bruce's driveway with a rocket launcher. And as the Penguin says, always bring the right tools for the job. Number 9. Elektra Daredevil Elektra has always been one of the most important and influential people in Daredevil's world. When she was set to appear on the second season of Netflix's Daredevil, fans were excited to see what impact she'd have on the show. They were not disappointed, as Elodie Young turned in a fantastic performance and brought the character to life in a way that's not been seen before. With a love story that far exceeded the movie's attempt and Matt Murdock even promising to leave his home for her, it seemed that Daredevil had finally finally found what was missing in his life. Unfortunately for fans, moments after he made his promise to her, they were attacked by the hand. After a furious battle, Elektra was suddenly killed by Nobu while saving Matt, and viewers had to watch on as she breathed her last breath. Now, it's been rumored that she may return for the Defenders series and may even be resurrected by the hand as their leader, Black Sky. But whether she comes back or not, her sudden and shocking death hit fans hard, and we're left wondering how Big Red is going to deal with this loss. My vote is not very well. Number 8. Laurel Lance Arrow Let's face it, Laurel Lance was never the most popular character in the Arrowverse. Starting off as Oliver's annoying love interest, she slowly evolved into an alcoholic and then finally into the heroic Black Canary. Then, out of nowhere, she's shish kebab by Dark, leaving Team Arrow and their viewers speechless. With Oliver eventually marrying Lance in the comics, most people assume that she'd be around for much, much longer. When she suddenly died at the hands of the main villain of the season, fans were left in awe. Proving how powerful her death became, the new season of Arrow has referred to her in nearly every episode, and fans have held their collective breaths waiting to see if she will someday be resurrected. Number 7. Commander Lexa the 100. Sometimes a character's death is necessary because the actor or actress is leaving the show for greener pastures. In this case, Alicia Debnam Kerry was leaving the 100 for the gorier green fields of AMC's Fear the Walking Dead. First appearing in the second season, Commander Lexa was met with instant approval by viewers. The warrior was a no-nonsense, brash commander who didn't seek approval but did do what she knew was right. When Clark decides that she must leave to be with her people, Lexa comes to say farewell and the two consummate their growing relationship. As Lexa and Clark appear to finally have found love and inner peace, Titus attempts to kill Clark and instead mortally wounds Lexa. Breaking the hearts of viewers and Clark, Lexa promises that her spirit will always be with Clark and then dies. And while there were many fans that saw her death coming, the heartbreaking circumstances made her demise truly shocking. Number 6. Jackson Kenner – The Originals Jackson Kenner has always been a popular character on CW's The Original. The Vampire Diaries spin-off set in New Orleans has featured the werewolf as one of the primary characters from the beginning of the series. Jackson featured on the show as a cursed werewolf who stayed in wolf form for the most time and could only become human during the full moon. As the series progressed, he assumed leadership of the Crescent Wolf Pack and eventually married fellow werewolf Haley. After reversing the curse only to see it reinstated, Jackson and Haley's love story had been its share of ups and downs. But the worst bit came when Jackson and Haley were kidnapped by the Strix group and held hostage. While chained up, Haley and all of the viewers watched on in horror as Tristan de Martel pulls back Jackson's head and literally rips his heart out. Fans could only sit there stunned and horrified at the suddenness and brutality of Jackson's final scene. Number 5. Edward Meacham, House of Cards 
The groundbreaking Netflix series House of Cards has been a source of controversy and awards for five spectacular seasons. One of the more complicated and interesting relationships in the series has been between security guard Edward Meacham and the family that he's protecting. After almost being fired, he's able to prove himself to the Underwoods as the series moved forward, and his loyalty became unquestionable by the family and its viewers. But then, while President Frank Underwood was speaking at a university, former journalist Lucas Goodwin attempted to use the college crowd as cover so he could assassinate the president. During the exchange of gunfire, Underwood was hit and taken to the ground by Meacham, who was also hit. Before he tragically takes his last breath, he's able to shoot and kill Goodwin, and make his final show of allegiance to Frank Underwood, a tragic loss of one of the most loyal members of the show. Number 4. Leonard Snart, DC's Legends of Tomorrow As one of The Flash's most popular villains, Leonard Snart has constantly been a thorn in Barry's side. While reaching an understanding with Barry that allows him to commit low-level crimes, his full potential was never realized. Not until Rip Hunter arrived, that is. After being summoned to help save Hunter's family and the world, Snart reluctantly decides to join the Legends team along with his partner in crime, Mick Rory. While becoming a team member and a hero was not an easy transition, he eventually came around and became one of the most interesting members of the team, which is what made his stunning death even more surprising. Following their escape from the Time Masters, the team attempts to destroy the Oculus and thus prevent Vandal Savage's victory from being set in stone. While setting the Oculus to destruct, they realize that somebody has to stay behind to be destroyed with the Oculus to make it work. Fans were shocked when Mick Rory volunteered for the job. They were even more surprised when Snart punched Mick and took his place thus sacrificing himself to save his friend and their teammates. Going out a hero, the villain surprised everyone and showed his true colors. Number 3. Hodor – Game of Thrones One of the most traumatic and horrifying deaths this year happened at a moment when people least expected it. When Bran opened the door to the Three-Eyed Raven's cave for the White Walkers, he and all their friends had to make a very quick exit. Losing Bran's dire wolf, the Three-Eyed Raven, and probably several children of the forest making their escape, the group was finally able to make their way to the back door and get out into the frozen forest. Unfortunately for their oversized companion Hodor, escape was not on the cards. While he was psychically traveling to the past, Bran also walked into Hodor and somehow affected him as a child. While he was connected to Hodor's mind, Bran Dor overhears the order, hold the door. The convolutions of time melt the young giant's brain like butter on hot toast, and we're finally given the explanation as to the origins of Hodor, and then he dies. It's touching, horrific, and most of all, really, really sad. Number 2. Everyone in the Sept – Game of Thrones It's a double whammy for the Shoot Your Dad on the Toilet TV series. With Hodor's death fresh on our minds, fans were left feeling very scared about who might be next. The answer is… a lot of people. Cersei, after getting fed up of all this sparrow malarkey, decides to don her Don't Mess With Me dress, an exact revenge most extreme. Destroying the Baelor's Sept with what can only be described as a bomb made of rancid monster energy drink, she managed to off Lancel, Mace Tyrell, Loras Tyrell, Marjorie Tyrell, the High Sparrow, and her Uncle Kev. It was an insane act of power and one that also led to the IT crowd suicide of her babby boy Tommen. It was unbelievable to witness, but also just as awesome. And number one, Glenn, The Walking Dead. When The Walking Dead ended their season finale in the spring, they left the episode on a huge cliffhanger. Just who had Negan killed? With a large group of people to choose from and a gory death coming in the full premiere, fans took to social media in droves to speculate about who Negan and Lucille had taken out. When the premiere finally came out in October, millions of viewers watched as Negan took out his rage on Abraham just a few minutes into the episode. But this was just a red herring, as Negan revealed that he was not finished smashing heads. And in a move that no one saw coming, even though it happened in the comics, Negan turned around and struck Glenn in the head. After some painful last words, Negan proceeded to finish the job and turned Glenn's skull into red mashed potato. Powerful, gruesome, shocking stuff. And that's our list. Got any more characters who bit the big one in spectacularly shocking fashion? Well, let us know about them in the comments section below. And if you want to continue to shock me with your beautiful faces, then you can follow me over on Twitter at RetroJ with a zero. If you enjoyed the video, then like, share, and subscribe for more. As always, I've been JulesWhatCulture.com, and I'll see you soon.